is all coming up later in the show. But first, we're back in the classroom today learning the finer points of a pint at Brew U, Fresno State's latest public course. So here now from the Central Valley Brewers Guild is Jason Hatwig along with Julian Ramos, program director for Fresno State. And we're uh, in the newsroom. We're all excited about this class because it's, a, it's an adult class and we get to go back to school to learn. What is Brew U? Brew U is a program that Fresno State had prior to the pandemic, and we're so excited that it's coming back. And we have a brand new partnership with the Central Valley Brewers Guild, mm -hmm. as long as a new instructor, Ryan Hansen. We're very, very excited. I know, we have, we have some video of Ryan Hansen uh, it, teaching in action. What are people gonna learn in Brew U? Are, is it sort of like the history of beer, or, or will we learn how to make beer? Well, it's our first time back. Okay. So we want to cover all of our bases. Okay. They're not going to make beer this time, but uh -huh. what we're going to do is we're going to learn all the good stuff about how it's done, the manufacturing, the fermentation, all of the business aspect, the marketing aspect. We're going to touch a little bit of everything just so anybody can come in and take yeah. the class. And sort of get that foundation for what you need to know if you want to step out on your own and make beer in your garage or something right. like that. Right. All right. right, so you're here from the Brewers Guild. That's right. And you brew for Great View. Yeah. And so you brought some local brews for us here. Yeah, every every uh, local brewer here today is, is part of the Guild. Uh, so yeah, four local beers that uh, we wanted to highlight today. One from Procreations, one from Grayview, one from South of Shaw, one from Pro Crow and Wolf. Okay, I, I I was telling you, I am a beer drinker. I, I love beer. <laughs> I mean, my uh, beer belly doesn't love it, but um, I am really sad to say I've never tried your Grayview beer before. All right, before. well. Okay, so what did you bring me? It's it, it's a beer called Mallrat. Okay. It's an Orange Julia style IPA. It's about 8%. It's made with a lot of oranges, a lot of love, a little lactose. Oh, that's so good. Oh, uh, yes. It <laughs> does taste like an Orange Julius. Oh my goodness, the name and the, because you go to the mall. Yep. For all the kids out there, we used to go to the mall and get an Orange Julius. Oh my goodness, that one's so good. Okay, and I love that it has a lid on it. I can save That's that right. for later. What are, and I don't, I don't know if I've had this one either. Yeah, What's Busy this one? Bee, Busy Bee is a uh, honey, honey blonde uh, ale. I and love blondes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's made with uh, orange blossom honey. Uh, who brews this one? This one's uh, brewed by Procreations in downtown Fresno. Oh, okay. And what, what notes should I be uh, tasting oh, this one? Oh, honey and just really smooth uh, flavors, really well-balanced beer. That is a balanced beer. But still beer. Beer. For beer drinking lovers. Absolutely. Oh, that's a good one. I always, I always think that I can, I like to judge the brewery off of their blondes because I feel like that's a good base. Everybody has a blonde. Yep. That one's good. I like that it's one. really wonderful. All right, this one, South of Shaw. So, I've been to South of Shaw. Yep. Which one's this one? This is a Mexican lager that they might make called the uh, uh, Flying Chancla. And so when we say Mexican lager, what, yep. what does that describe? Oh, that's a uh, very... Um, Light, refreshing, uh, easy drinking, low ABV. It's only 5%. And uh, you can knock back about two or three of those. Oh, yeah. I could, <laughs> I could have myself an afternoon with this one. Okay, and finally, Crow and Wolf. I spend a lot of time here. Yep. What's this one? This is Frostbite. It's a cold IPA. Oh. And basically. <laughs> AJ, AJ's trying to get, get himself a, a little pour here before he goes and uh, MCs his, his historical society uh, event tonight. What's this one? So basically, it's a cold IPA which is fermented a little bit cooler than L Tim's and it's kind of in between a lager and an and that is ale. in between yep because I, I can I get like the boldness of the IPA mm -hmm. but I get the smoothness and the easiness that's right of an ale okay with what we just did here <laughs> will people get to do that in the class yes will they get they to will. drink beer 21 totally. and over. That's <laughs> right. Over. That's right. That's that brings right. me to my next point. Who can enroll in Brew U? That's a really exciting part. People think Fresno State, you have to be enrolled, but our classes, you are open to the public. We're okay. really excited. All you have to do is be 21. You just yeah. have to be 21. <laughs> when are you going to have these classes? Are they going to be in person, traditional classroom setting? How's that going to work? We're going to have six meetings of class, and they're going to be within three weeks, two classes a week. And they're going to be four on campus, and then four are going to be off-site. One is going to be at an actual brewery, so you can see it and like firsthand getting yeah. made. 
and the other one is going to be a tasting, which we're going to have at the Backyard Social Club. That's so, this is such a fun thing to do. You know, when we, when we talk about cities and growing as a city and, and your economy, it's always really good to have a university in town. Mm -hmm. That's how you can feel connected to your community. That's how you can feel connected to the university. And so this is a great way to learn something new, feel sort of connected to the university here in town, and maybe get started on a new hobby. Yeah. How can people register? People can go to our website at Fresno State uh, continuing global education. We are taking registrations up until April 2nd, and that's our first class. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Before we leave, I hear that you might be offering an advanced class in the fall. What's that gonna be? We're really excited. This class really <laughs> took off, and we did offer it prior. So this class is gonna go a little bit deeper into maybe some tap room, or uh, more of the packaging aspect, yep. and then I think we are gonna be making our own beers. Yes. All right, That's all right. right, so you gotta take this one, get the foundations, get drink some beer, and uh, get yourself prepared so you can go on to the advanced brew making class. Brew you, we will have all the links online, how you can register, the meeting times, everything you need to know, we'll put it online as well. You guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having us. Cheers to, uh, to myself with all of my own beers. <laughs> all right, coming up here in Central Valley today, sound the alarm, save a life with the Red Cross, what they're doing to keep people safe from house fires, that's next.